Hey guys, in this lecture, we are proceeding with our Flip Logo Animation project. So first thing I want to do here is that I want to drag this logo pre-comp upward here and place it on top of my timeline stack. But before doing this, I'll create another copy of this shape layer and make it stay up in order to place my logo on it. So I'll select Flip 5 layer here and hit Ctrl or Command Z on keyboard. Now I don't need the animation for this shape layer, so I'll drag my time indicator to the beginning of this Flip 6 shape layer, select the layer and hit U on keyboard to get all the keyframes. Select them all and hit delete. Also, I'll delete the hue saturation effect for this layer. Now let's click on the ramp preview and see what we have. Perfect! Now I'll select this logo precomposition and place it on top of my timeline stack here. I'll enable it as well, and this by clicking on the eye icon here beside it. Also, I'll make it a 3D layer. Now, I'll select this Flip 6 layer and make a duplicate by hitting Ctrl or Command Z on keyboard. Drag and drop it above the logo pre comp here. And now I will come here in the track mat column. If you can't see the track mat column on your timeline, you can either hit F4 on keyboard or use the toggle switches mood button here. So I'll come here in the track mat column beside the logo precomp and set it to alpha track mat. So now our logo will be visible only inside this layer. Great! Now I need to make this part of my logo at the bottom here to be visible as well. So I'll select these two layers and make a duplicate by hitting Ctrl or Command Z on keyboard. Then I'll change the alpha mat here to alpha inverted mat. Now let's click on the ramp preview and see what we have so far. Perfect! So here we need to apply the same flip animation to the top logo layer here so that it will flip with the other layers as well. So simply I'm going to parent this logo precomposition layer to flip 5 layer here. And this by dragging this pick whip icon here to flip 5 layer and then release. So as you can see here it has parented our logo precomposition to flip 5 layer. Also, I'll set the timing where I want my logo to start appearing on my timeline here. So I'll drag my time indicator, say, to 1 second and 24 frames. Select both logo precomposition layers and drag their endpoints to the time indicator like this. And now if we click on the ramp preview, you would see that this logo part will flip like the other layers. Perfect! One more thing, I want to have shadows here on the bottom of my logo as well because it is flipping. So I'll go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the Hue and Saturation effect again. Drag and drop it on my top logo layer here. I'll drag my time indicator to 1 second and 26 frames. 
click on the stopwatch beside channel range, then go to 1 second and 28 frames and set the master lightness to negative 28. Then go to about 2 seconds and 3 frames, then set the master lightness value to 0. Now I'll turn off the proportional grid and let's click on the RAM preview and see what we have. Great! So now we have this nice looking animation. Now I want to animate these whole flipping layers to make a nice intro. So I'll select them all and pre-compose them by hitting Ctrl or Command Shift C. Let's call it Logo Flip. Make sure you select Move All Attributes option here. Then click OK. Now I'll select this layer and hit P on keyboard to get the position control. Then hold down shift key, then hit S and then R to get the scale and rotation controls. Now I'll drag the time indicator to 3 seconds. Click on the stopwatch beside them all. Then go to the beginning of my timeline, I'll set the scale value to something big, say 453%, and I'll set the rotation value to around 82 degrees, then I'll drag the entire logo outside of my composition like this. Select all keyframes and add easy ease by either hitting F9 on keyboard or right click keyframe assistant easy ease. Now I'll go to the graph editor and in the speed graph drag this point inward. You are definitely free to set whatever values you want based on how you want it to enter your scene. This is totally up to your preference. In my case, I'll make it like this. Perfect! Now I'll add a nice background here and this by adding a solid layer. You can choose to add any custom photo or video if you want. This is totally up to you. So here I'll hit Ctrl or Command Y on keyboard to create a new solid layer. I'll call it Background and click OK. Drag it down here, then I'll go to the effects and presets panel and search for an effect called a gradient ramp. Drag and drop it on the background layer and in the effect settings panel I'll change the end color, so I'll click on this color swatch, choose the color you want, then click OK. Also, I'll change the start color. Perfect! Now this looks so good to me. In the next lecture, we will be adding some nice realistic shadow to our logo here and finalize our project. I hope you are enjoying so far. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next lecture.